Hi guys, welcome back. Today we will take a look at another way to work with the PWM and this time we are going to use the PWM with the hardware timers and uh, this library is uh, specific and uh, this uh, works with the hardware timers it does not use it does not use hardware PWM and uh, we will see how we can program it and it's really easy to program and so let's uh, start programming it so first of all go to the PC create go into the C directory in the NRF SDK we have extracted our SDK here go into the examples folder and then go into the peripheral from here we are going to copy this PWM library and then go back go into my projects folder paste it here and let's rename it as Open this folder, go into the PC10040 if you are using an RF5232, go into the blank, open the SES folder and open the EM project file. Let's remove all of the code. Okay, we are good to go and uh, let's see if uh, everything is configured. So if we go into the SDK config.h, open the CMC's configuration wizard go into the drivers and here make sure the timers are enabled and the PPI module is also enabled because these are used in this library so save it close it now we are good to go make sure you have this app pwm.h included and uh, everything is good to go the first thing is we have to create an instance of the pwm so let's create it let's name it as pwm and uh, here you have to mention the instance of the timer you are using so for the soft devices we are using the hardware timer 0 uh, so I would recommend you always use timer 1 or 2 so I'm going to use the timer 1 so I'm just going to put 1 here the next thing we need to do is we have to create a flag which is going to just tell that if uh, the PWM module is ready to update the duty cycle or not we will update this flag in a callback function so let's write the callback function and in this function we are just going to set the flag to true now we need to configure the PWM so it's a, a very short code so I don't we don't need to create a separate function for that so I'm just going to use it in the main function I am just going to call it in the main function first of all we have to configure uh, the PWM and uh, for that we have to assign it uh, the channel and uh, we cannot assign it more than two channels so make sure you only assign two channels to each PWM I'm just going to define an LED and I'm just going to use one channel now we are good to go create uh, configurations and here we have to select one channel or two channel I'm just going to ch select one channel because I'm just going to use one and uh, here we have to give uh, two parameters the first one is the value in the microseconds and uh, for that let's say 10,000 microseconds this is going to be the frequency so 10 millisecond uh, is equal to 60 hertz let's write it here so I'm giving it 10,000 microseconds which is equal to 10 milliseconds and the second thing is we have to give it the channel and uh, here we are using LED okay the configuration is done let's add the polarity of the pin now we need to initialize it in the handler and now we have to enable it okay now it's enabled now we can just set the duty to see it's working so 
Let me use that function. Here we have to mention the channel, so I'm using one channel only and it's going to be zero. Here we have to set the duty, so I'm just going to write here. And uh, let's give it some delay. Let's change the duty. I'm just gonna, gonna give it uh, four times and I will change the duty so you can see the level of the PWR okay let's build the code and see if it's okay okay it's built okay once the code is built make sure your device is connected and I have connected uh, the LED on this pin pin number 22 and let's see how the PWM works so go into the target click on the connect jlink and then erase all and then download it and once it's downloaded you can see the change in the brightness of the LED basically I'm just changing uh, the duty and it's changing the brightness of the LED so that's it for today I hope so you have learned something new today and uh, this code along with the information is available for download in the description of this video be sure to check it out and uh, if you are new on my channel please be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button if you like this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video